This is a 4x4 seals video on the overview of an Itachi OEM air suspension compressor and uh, Dunlop air suspension aftermarket compressor fitted on Land Rover models such as Discovery 3, 4, Range Rover Sport and L322. Now, um, we're quite proud of this unit because um, we developed all the repair kits for it back in 2012-13 and it's a good unit, it's repairable, it's simple um, but unfortunately these days most garages want to get these out of circulation and basically fit an AMK redesign unit on. Now the AMK unit in our opinion is a complicated unit, it's been designed not to be repaired and we we think the longevity is not comparable to the original um, repairable Itachi unit. So hopefully you've still got this unit fitted on your vehicle and we, we advise um, if the motor and everything is still running to try and keep hold of this unit on the vehicle. Um, we have a number of um, products for, to repair it but I would like to talk about um, diagnosing the fault of the of this type of unit. So um, the first thing what usually happens is you get a, da a dashboard message, normal ride height only, on your instrument panel, or you've took it into a garage and they've just told you you need a new compressor. So the first thing you need to do is have the diagnostic codes read and write them down because we can actually decipher the codes for you. But the two main ones we're concerned with is a C1A20 and a C1A13. C1A20 means it's not filling the reservoir on your vehicle quickly enough to satisfy the vehicle systems. The C1A13 means it's not letting the pressure out of the vehicle system quickly enough. So you need to identify uh, which diagnostic code you have present in your vehicle system. If you've got a C1A20, that can be a number of things. It can be one thing or a combination of things. So we always recommend our 4x4 air seals master repair kit if you're not sure which part of this unit is failing. But if uh, you can diagnose your own unit uh, based on the information we supply in this video, then you can order the individual parts from us. Um, you have an air dryer cover that can leak, causing a C1A20. You have a filtration kit that's blocked and condensated that can cause a C1A20 or a leaking joint. Um, you can have a delivery valve which is a little uh, devalve underneath this nut that is a one-way valve that can be allowing air pressure um, backtrack and obviously reduce the outgoing air pressure. You can have piston seals that are worn um, not providing uh, the, the correct pressure. Um, this exhaust valve can be stuck open, letting all the pressure out of the compressor. Um, and basically, the pipe that enters the cylinder head, which is the intake pipe, that can be also be blocked or have some restriction. So that is basically a C1A20 uh, fault diagnosis. Um, with a note of these uh, these two pipes coming out of the back, one's a 10 millet and one's an 8mm diameter. The 10mm diameter is the outlet pipe for the outgoing pressure and the 8mm is where it allows the air pressure to go into the cylinder. Um, so you need to check on your vehicle that the two pipes that disappear up into the vehicle are not blocked. So you can, you can actually disconnect these two pipes just for diagnosing to see whether your fault goes away just by disconnecting the pipes. They're not pressure pipes, these two. Uh, they're just, they're just uh, there to quieten the ingoing air down and quiet, quieten the exiting air down. So um, just for diagnosing and testing, you can actually just remove these uh, and let them just vent to fresh air to see whether your fault goes away. If it doesn't go away, then you, you're going to have to carry out a repair. So that's a C1A20. A C1A13 means that it's not letting the air pressure out quickly enough, not venting the gallery. Now that is the system of the air dryer, the exhaust valve which is located behind this square plate and the, the exhaust valve solenoid underneath the exhaust valve. Now uh, we supply products for either problem. Um, so if you visit our www.4x4airseals.com website or you go on our 4x4 Airseals eBay shop, we can supply you with the correct kit and also with fitting instructions, stroke video instructions, which you can also view on our YouTube channel. So if you would like to uh, 
subscribe to it, then that would be pretty useful because um, you know it will. It's a very helpful um, resource of information. So hope you like the video. Um, um, please check out our other videos and visit our website and eBay shop. That will be give you some idea of, of the products available. We're constantly developing products for other uh, suspension compressors as we are an hands-on UK manufacturing uh, company and we develop our own seals unlike many other suppliers. So we can give you a, um, an after-sales support like no other supplier can. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching this video. Please like it if you found it very useful and we'll, uh, we'll catch up in the next video. Thank you.